Daniel came from a very good family. His father was a professor at the university, and his mother was a respected family doctor. Grandfather was a musician and grandmother was a singer. Grandparents on his mother's side were also doctors. In general it was a very cultured family and all just adored their only son and grandson. All the adults devoted their free time to his education and comprehensive development. Daniel went to art school, played music and sports, and was a winner of various contests. In general, he pleased the adults both at school and at home. One thing his parents didn't like. He accidentally met a girl from an inappropriate family in their opinion. Daniel and Sandy took karate classes with the same trainer. Daniel was an obedient boy and he liked the fussy and naughty girl immediately. And Sandy was attracted to the smart and unflappable Daniel. In general, they were two opposites who were attracted to each other. Sandy's father was a simple dock worker who liked to drink with friends after work. And her mother worked for a cleaning company. It was an ordinary working-class family where no one really brought up the girl. Even her karate lessons she chose by herself, because she always had a fighting spirit and a desire for adventure. Daniel was her only friend, and Sandy often incited him to various pranks, after which the boy got in trouble with his parents. Sandy was teaching him to climb trees and he fell and broke his arm. Sandy offered Daniel to go swimming on an unequipped beach, and he almost drowned and hurt his leg. All in all, Sandy was a walking misfortune, but all his childhood he protected her from everyone, especially his family. Daniel helped her with her lessons, practiced math, taught her how to speak properly, and with him she began to love reading. But when she was 15, a bad thing happened. Her mother died, she was hit by a car late on her way home from work. A month later, her father drank too much and drowned, and Sandy was sent to a her aunt in another state. Communication between Daniel and Sandy was lost. He wrote her letters to her new address, but received no response. With time he stopped trying to contact the girl, and his parents breathed a sigh of relief, happy that Sandy had disappeared from their son's life forever. The old friends met by chance during a medical school entrance exam. Sandy became a beautiful young woman and Daniel an equally handsome young man. They were happy to reconnect, especially since they were both studying together. It turned out that Sandy had also written to him, but there had been no answer and she had kept a couple of his letters up to that moment. That's when they realized that it was his caring parents who hadn't given him the letters. Daniel did not fight with his parents, knowing full well that it would not lead to anything. Their childhood friendship gradually grew into love, and Daniel and Sandy couldn't live a day without each other. And they were a very beautiful couple. When Daniel told his relatives that he had met Sandy again and that they were going to get married after graduation, his mother and father were horrified. And the grandmother shook her head sternly and lamented her grandson's stupidity. Daniel tried in vain to assure his parents that Sandy was not like her parents, that she was very smart, the best student of the course and she was loved by all the professors. They still stood their ground that Sandy was not his type. In fact, they had long ago found for their beloved Daniel a bride from their circle, clever and modest, and Sandy from a family of workers did not fit their image of a son's wife. But Daniel was independent and went to live with Sandy. They lived together for two years. They were good with each other because they went to the same college and had similar interests. Then the girl realized that she was pregnant. When she told Daniel that she was expecting a baby, the father-to-be was very excited. Although the young people had to study for a year and a half, they were sure they would manage. The couple were in no hurry to get married. Daniel hoped that his family would accept Sandy and have a real wedding after all especially now that they were expecting a baby. When Daniel's mother found out, she went to Sandy's house and put a large wad of money on the table. The woman demanded that Sandy leave her son alone, because they were not a match and their family would never be happy. Sandy laughed in her usual open manner and pushed the potential mother-in-law out of her apartment with her money. She decided not to tell Daniel about what his mother had offered her, so as not to spoil their relationship completely. When the child was born, Daniel's mother declared that the child did not look like her son at all. And three weeks later she showed her son the medical report, which said that the child was not his. 
Daniel threw a scandal, packed his things and left. Sandy felt it all very badly and tried to tell Daniel that it was all a mistake and she had never had another man in her life but him. But it was all in vain. He didn't want to hear anything more about her and called her nothing but a traitor. A year later he married the girl of his parents' choice. But Sandy had a very difficult time. But the young mother was helped by her aunt, with whom she lived after her parents died. She was a kind woman and took the burden of caring for the newborn, so Sandy could finish her studies. The woman only saw her child once a month when she visited her aunt. Despite her resentment, she became even more determined to become a top-notch doctor, because she knew that she was responsible for her child now alone. Fortunately, after graduation she got a job as an intern at a hospital in the city where her aunt lived. The young doctor's life more or less settled down, and she was finally able to raise her child on her own. Many years have passed and Daniel is now 45 years old. He is a very mediocre doctor. His wife is always disgruntled and grumpy, and they have no children. Daniel's parents are elderly people with whom he has little or no contact, blaming them for his failed marriage. Five years after breaking up with Sandy, he found out that his mother had faked a genetic test report and deceived him. A month ago, he accidentally met Sandy at a conference where he had been sent from his clinic. She immediately recognized the balding and visibly flabby man as her first love. The woman smiled at him affectionately. They got to talking and he, looking at her guiltily, asked her how she had been living all this time. Sandy told him that she had transferred to a military doctor. After her internship she traveled to hot spots. On one of those missions she met her future husband. Now they have a close-knit family and three children. The elder son wants to follow in his parents' footsteps and become a military doctor. Daniel looked at the confident Sandy and thought that his mother was partly right. Only it wasn't she who wasn't right for him. It was he who was wrong for her. Meanwhile, Sandy said that she did not hold a grudge against him or his mother, that everything turned out as it should, because she really became a good doctor, and she has a beautiful family. And what would have happened if she had stayed with Daniel is unknown. They talked some more and parted to never see each other again. Sandy had a loving husband and children waiting at home, and Daniel returned to his half-empty home. Regrets for what he had done to the one woman he loved awoke in his soul again. And for many more nights they kept him awake, before he was able again to hide them carefully in the nook of his soul. Dear friends, what do you think about this story? Leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye and all the best to you.